So I won't do it bad in use first. The Bible says you're a sinner separated from the Holy God. If you've never placed your faith in Jesus Christ, your sin separates you from Him, and it's something you can't overcome. That's bad news, right? You got the sin problem. You're separated from the only one who can fix it. That's bad news. Okay, bad news. Good news. There's some worse news. You can't fix the problem on your own. You are morally and spiritually bankrupt before a holy God. You can't fix it on your own. You got nothing to pay the debt with. That's worse news, right? Here's the good news. God sent His only Son to die on a cross for your sins and mine. Whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. You place your faith, that is the whole weight of your trust, on who, on who Jesus is and what He did on the cross for you. Where He paid your sin penalty so you don't have to. Good news, right? I got better news. That penalty that was paid, that gift of salvation, here's the best news ever. It's a gift. You don't pay to earn it. You don't work to earn it. It's a gift. All you have to do for a gift to be a gift is receive it. That's the best news ever. Because you can't earn it. You don't deserve it. But it's freely offered. You just have to accept it. What does that look like? It looks like you getting real with God about where you stand with Him. That if you were to die right now, you would spend all of eternity in a place called hell. Separated eternally. Paying the penalty for your sins forever and ever and ever. But understanding that when Jesus died on the cross, He paid your penalty. He paid the debt you owe. He paid the debt that I owed. And He wipes it clean. That comes because you repent of your sins. For all the military folks, that is a term for to the rear march. It means you are heading towards your sin. You're heading towards the death, the punishment for all of eternity that you so rightfully deserve. But you repent. You turn 180 degrees and you go towards Jesus. That's repentance. When you repent, He forgives you completely. He places His Spirit within you and you are now His kid. He loves you so much He's even got your picture on the refrigerator. He promises you that the battle you go through, I've given you everything you need. And I've given you the promise that one day the battle's over. And you get to spend all of eternity in heaven with me. No more pain, no more sickness, no more struggles, no more sin, no more nothing. It's all back to the way he intended in the very beginning. Perfect. And he will dwell with us forever. But in order to get to that point, you have to understand there's something you've got to do. If you've made that decision, but you've not followed the Lord in baptism, that's the first step in obedience. A couple of weeks ago, we baptized my son, Brian. There was nothing in that water special came right out of the tap, probably right out of Talladega Creek, because when we put it in there, it was cold. It's just a mark of obedience. It's a public profession that Jesus Christ has done something in my life, and 
I need the world to know it. If you've made that decision, you follow Christ, you follow the Lord in baptism, but He's leading you to the point where he, He's impressed upon you that, you know what? This church is where I need to plant myself and get involved in what God's doing through this church. We'd love to have you. It's another soldier on the team. Because he's placed us here, we've got work to do. If you would, stand to your feet. That's, that's the invitation today. You need to know Christ? Please do today. You know him, but you've not followed him in baptism. We can make that happen. God wants you to join him with this church. We'd love to have you. But I want to give people a time to respond. So if you would, bow your heads, close your eyes. I'm going to pray. Tammy's going to play. The, the singers will come up in just a second. If the Lord is working on your heart, if He is dealing with you, you need to do business with God. The altar's open. If you want somebody to pray with you,